I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House Commerce and Gaming Committee held a public hearing on House Bill 1289. The legislation would reimagine the certification for the development of winery workforce. The Washington Wine Institute supports this bill because we believe in workforce development is essential to our industry. And the more ways to provide real life hands-on experience in the production of a wine in a winery for Washington State can only help. Uh, I think it's a really common sense fix. It's very simple, uh, reduces bureaucracy. I think it uh, doesn't really cost anything. Uh, it supports our youth. It supports uh, the educational system, it supports economic development, particularly in rural areas. So why does this bill matter? Um, it's integral to the mission of what we do at the Institute for Knowledge of Viticulture, which is to facilitate alliances uh, with vintners and viticulturists in the Walla Walla Valley ADA and throughout the Pacific Northwest to provide the education and practical hands-on training necessary to produce skilled industry laborers with a focus on high quality wine growing. Hopefully that we can begin to take a holistic approach when we look at uh, the adult beverage space in Washington so that when we're looking at, at measures like this, we would include not just the thousand wineries that are in Washington, but the more than 500 breweries and the more than 100 distilleries that are in Washington. The House Labor and Workplace Standards Committee heard testimony on House Bill 1206, sponsored by Representatives Lauren Davis and Lillian Ortiz Self. The legislation would establish specific workplace standards for staffing agencies and worksite employees regarding training, assessing hazards and information sharing. Um, not once ever was I trained by the agency nor by the host employer of the hazards on the job. I was not trained in proper lifting despite regularly carrying natural gas power generators of 70 pounds or more. Staffing agencies and host employers are jointly responsible for maintaining a safe work environment. Each have their own responsibilities. Host employers must treat temporary workers just like any other workers in terms of training and safety protections. The primary responsibilities are in the with the worksite employer uh, at this point, are they not? Both parties are responsible for, ultimately responsible for safety. Um, in other words, the, the temporary agency cannot uh, offload the responsibility for safety to the worksite employer, I believe. Okay. And that's the legal uh, um, uh, interpretation. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News covering the 2021 legislative session.